Hello, my dear beautiful sisters and handsome brothers. Today we're going to talk about uh, open sentence and closed sentence in algebra. Okay, this is our uh, you can say uh, another level uh, after variables and algebraic expressions. Okay, first, what is open sentence? So to understand open sentence, you know, just like in our English sentence, you know, in English we say a sentence. You know, let's say like in normal English, you know, uh, what do you mean by the sentence? Sentence like uh, a is an English alphabet okay similarly uh, red is a color so these are English sentences what about in math in math you can say um, 3 plus 4 equals to 7 this is a math sentence right or you can say um, 3 is uh, an even number right so these are example of uh, math sentences okay now let's try to understand open sentence and closed sentence this is not so so hard to understand very simple it is you know try to understand in algebra closed sentence are always true okay true in the sense let's say um, as as I just said there 3 plus 4 equals to 7 so this is a very true mathematical sentence I can say this is a closed sentence okay uh, similarly let, let's say like 4 is greater than 3 greater than 3 so this is also correct okay so this is true this is true so these these all true sentences are closed sentence now what about open sentences in open sentence there is a doubt okay you're not sure about anything you're not sure whether the sentence is correct or not okay so it's something like X plus uh, let, let's simply you know like like X is an even number for a while even number so x is even number how, how can I say x is a even number you know it can be it can be a, a, a even number or it can be odd number it can be 2 it can be 3 it can be 5 it can be 9 it can be 10 it can be any number you know you don't know which number is this x x is just a number we know and you don't know whether it is odd number or even number it is 2 3 5 9 10 or any kind of number you don't know which number it is okay so in that case uh, this is not not sure you're not sure about it okay so whenever you're not sure about something you know then that type of sentence will say open sentence okay let's say uh, x plus uh, 3 equals to 5 okay so now how do I say this is true or false I don't know I'm not sure about it you know it can be true or it can also be false I'm not sure okay it can be true it can be false so when this x plus 3 equals to 5 will be a true sentence or a false sentence that you can understand simply just by uh, putting the various number you know just by putting uh, various uh, numbers just select the digits okay if I put here 1 1 plus 3 equals to 5 so this is false this is false okay and if it is 2 then 2 plus 3 equals to 5 this is true so see uh, if you put here like something let's say uh, 3 again 3 plus 3 equals to 5 now this is again false okay so this expression this this thing will get true only if the value of x is 2 okay if the value of x equals to 2 then this sentence is going to be true otherwise it can be false okay so by looking just this sentence you know you're not sure whether it's going to be true or whether it's going to be false you know so you gotta give a remark you know yeah the, 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 the teacher is saying hey uh, tell me whether this sentence is true or false you know so he's giving you an open an, an empty box to write here so you can write here true you can also write here false okay you can write anything so it's open the place is open this this box is empty you can put anything here it can be true you can put true here you can also insert false here you don't know you're not sure about it so such kinds of sentences are called open sentences in algebra okay and you gotta solve uh, such open sentences by trying the different digits you know most of the time when you'll be solving uh, exercises uh, you'll be given the range of the numbers that you, you gotta select the numbers you gotta try the numbers you gotta try inserting the numbers or you can say you gotta try plugging the numbers like in in X we try to plug one we try to plug two we try to plug three you know and we 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 s we try to check that in which number it is going to be true so like that you will get the range of the numbers and then you have to uh, it's like a hit and try you know hit and trial hit and trial okay and then you're gonna figure out uh, which value makes the sentence true 
uh, so that it will be closed sentence otherwise it's going to be open sentence all right so i hope you understand it simply basic concept you need to uh, remember that the closed sentence are always true okay and open sentence can be true can be false so you don't know okay so you're not sure there that's why these are called open sentences i already told you this is an open nameplate. You can write, you, this is a, like the blank nameplate. You can write their true, you can write their false. So such sentences, such mathematical sentences are called open sentences. All right, so we're going to learn more how to solve the open sentences in, in, in algebra in our next episode. I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch uh, our video updates on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And if you're watching this video from YouTube, I will... Uh, suggest you to watch it from the website because there you're gonna have more things uh, textual things uh, sometimes worksheets you know and downloadable stuff and uh, many more things and all the solutions are arranged very well and all links are given in the description box below so click there and watch it from the website I'll see you guys into the next solution bye bye